Here's how to write killer emails that could 10x your open rates, click-throughs, and conversions. Because what you say, and when you say it, could be the difference between scaling your online business to the moon and crickets. As Gary Vee says, email marketing is not dead. Do I think it's dead? Absolutely not. But how exactly do you get someone to open your emails and click the links? What do the top email marketers know that we don't? Well, to find out, I've spent the last month trawling through research papers, talking to our best performing agencies and analyzing the data of the millions of emails we send every year. And I've discovered the emails with the best open rates, the best click-throughs, and ultimately the emails that convert the highest include three key ingredients. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through each of them. The first ingredient may seem obvious, but is by far the most important and unbelievably is still something that a lot of email marketers get wrong. Ingredient number one is to personalize them. Personalized emails get higher response rates than generic emails. I'm talking 84% open rates and over 46% click-through rates. Given the global average click-through rate is less than 3%, that's pretty bloody impressive. And personalized doesn't just mean including someone's name. It means sending specific emails based on their behavior and their engagement with your content and previous communications. If someone's already downloaded your free resource, don't send them a reminder to download it. Instead, send them an email to your online training that teaches them how to use the free resource they downloaded or send them an email to schedule a call with you. Use as much data as you can to make sure the emails you send are as relevant as possible to the individual email subscribers in your database. Now remember, you can automate most of this and I've already made a video about how to use trigger links to send targeted follow-ups and I have a video in the works about how to use automated workflows in my favorite automation software, High Level, so you can treat every one of your emails subscribers with the personalized attention they deserve whether you have a hundred or a hundred thousand in your list. The second ingredient is email expectancy. After analyzing the data from our automated workflow emails and our broadcast emails, it has become obvious that the emails that perform the best are those that our email subscribers are expecting to receive. So here's a few tactics to test. If you're selling services B2B, send your emails between 8 and 11 a.m. Monday to Friday in your subscriber's time zone. And if your email marketing software doesn't allow you to do that, then switch to high level. If your subscriber opt in for information regarding upcoming jazz gigs, try not to send them pre-sale promos for Iron Maiden's World Tour. And unless your subscriber has explicitly given you permission to receive your weekly newsletter, then just don't send it to them. Not only is it spam and annoying, but your open rates will just be terrible and this will actually impact the deliverability of your entire email domain. So. Try and resist the urge to blast your list with your latest Hormozy style offer and make it super easy and obvious for people to unsubscribe. Finally, allow people to unsubscribe from different parts of your list. Now this is advanced, however, if you use any modern marketing platform like High Level, your subscribers can choose which email they wanna receive and which ones they don't. The actual definition of email expectancy. Which brings us to ingredient number three, consistency. Now, there's actually a lot that goes into keeping your email communication consistent, so I'll give you the top three things you can do very easily. One, keep your formatting and style consistent. My preference is to have our emails formatted so that they look like a personal email that someone has sent, rather than a well-designed EDM, as they say. Now, this works for us because we're selling services. If you're in the e-commerce business, you might find that beautifully designed emails showcasing your products convert better. Either way, keep it consistent. Consistency builds trust, so if every email you send looks different, your subscribers won't trust you and therefore they will not convert. Keep your tone of voice consistent. Develop a tone of voice for your brand and make sure that every email, in fact, every outbound communication is in line with the voice of your brand. Apple don't send emails with flashing red arrows or countdown timers because they're the cool kids and well, cool kids aren't needy. Finally, Here's a power tip if you really want to nail consistency. List out all the emails a new subscriber is likely to receive in the first 90 days of joining your list. Write each one of those emails once, save them as templates, and then reference those templates in your automations. Again, if your marketing automation platform doesn't allow you to do that, then just switch to high level. And do the same thing for when an email subscriber becomes a customer. This is part of what's called customer journey mapping and is something you should do for your own business. And of course, if you're an agency, you should do this exercise for your clients as well. The more personal, expected, and consistent your emails are, the higher the response. Hey, if you like this video so far, hit the thumb that points up, subscribe, and ring the bell, because now we're into the boring half of the video. Let me give you a few stats about email marketing to exemplify 
my point. And yes, I just use the word exemplify. These stats come from a blog post published by Invesp CRO, and if High Level published these stats, I'd be referencing them instead, but they don't. 44% of salespeople give up after the first follow-up attempt, yet 60% of customers say no four times before they say yes. Now, I can't even do the math on that, but I'm just guessing if you send three to five follow-up emails, you've got like a 72.8% chance of getting a better response than most of your competitors. Remembering, of course, that 42.5% of all statistics are completely made up. The point is, send more bloody emails if you wanna have more conversations with prospects. And let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, you've gotta have conversations with prospects in order for them to become paying clients. In another completely unrelated study published by a very important research company whose name was so compelling that I've completely forgotten it, 50% of marketers surveyed stated that individualized email messaging was one of the most effective email marketing tactics, but 46% said it was too complicated. 45% said that behavior triggered emails would improve their email marketing, but 43% found it too difficult. Well, clearly these kids haven't discovered high level because sending personalized emails based on behavior triggers is duck soup. In in fact, check out the video I made about trigger links to get you started. Now, personalized emails see an increase in open rates by up to 82%, a 75% increase in click-through rates, a 56% increase in sales, and a whopping 40% decrease in unsubscribes. So if all this sounds like a lot of work, well, you're right, but you're in luck. I'll drop a link in the comments where you can grab my automation and email templates absolutely free and import them into your own high-level account with a few mouse clicks, along with my free training on how to get up and running in high level so you can be building your email list in less than 45 minutes from now. And if you're new to high level, you'll also get a free 30 day trial so this will not cost you a cent. Of course, if you're an existing high level user, you can just have the snapshot and training as a free gift. This video is sponsored by high level because everything about the product and the company absolutely rocks. I used to pay HubSpot over 50 grand a year and it still couldn't do all the things high level does. I've been running my entire business in high level since 2022 and have been recommending it to all of our agency clients since then. They have no say into the content of these videos, but they do send me water bottles. If you're not sending personalized emails that people are expecting to receive, then I don't know, you may as well be faxing them your catalog. Use personalization, expectancy, and consistency instead of blasting everyone you know with the same message and thank me later. I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.